There was a moment in Australia's preparations for the World Cup tie against New Zealand that displayed the character of Graham Arnold. It looked like time might have finally caught up with the veteran striker. But in typical fashion, the hard man of Australian soccer shrugged off the assistance and, just seconds later, emphatically showed that he'd lost none of his hunger for the ball. I think it was words were said, it's a shame experience is wasted on the old, and you can say, well, enthusiasm on the young. So if you can get an experienced man that is still enthusiastic, that is the, the gift and the trick, if you can. He epitomises the Aussie spirit in so much. He's a guy who worked at his game, and I think those types of players we have a lot more time for than those who have a talent and don't realise that potential. Arnie will just play where you want him to. You know, he's, he wears his heart on his sleeve, and uh, it doesn't matter if you could ask him to play right fullback, he, he would. He's there when the chips are down. Um, Argentina, for example, in, in 1993 at the football stadium, was won all. It was the toughest game Australia had ever played in a World Cup qualifier. Uh, and he led by example. He, he put his body in where it counted. Um, he did all the hard stuff. He took a lot of pressure off the other guys. So um, consequently, um, we got some results. And that's, that's the sort of um, contribution that Arnie does make to the team because he's prepared to put himself about and work for his teammates. You know, I've always been very proud to put me put the green and yellow shirt on, and uh, I still am, whichever role that is, whether it is just to help us get to the World Cup as a, a bits and parts player. I know I'm getting on in age, but I, I still feel physically fit enough, and I'll be just doing my best to to help Terry and the players get there. At 33, Graham Arnold is making history notching up a record fourth World Cup campaign for Australia, driven on by the frustrations of failure to be part of a qualifying side before. After he made the national team 13 years ago, he established himself as a bustling, determined spearhead, as tough as they come. His early success earned him the nickname, Goal Game Arnie. With it in, losing it out, here's Arnold, turned well, 2-0! Graham Arnold! He's scored a lot of goals for the team. He's, um, he's a character that's, that's endured almost four World Cup campaigns. And I think that's left a, a legacy in terms of um, what he's given the players while he's been there. He's contributed a lot of fun to playing for Australia while he's been with, in the national team. Do you know who that ugly man is? Robbie Slater. Arnie's provided the larrikin edge to the Socceroos. When he comes past, he come past when, he, when he comes past, say, you're an ugly man. Say that to him, OK? <laughs> Is he the old Well, he, he's been called a few things. I think someone mentioned Fossil or something the other day as well. No, but he's uh, obviously, Graham's a great friend of mine, and uh, he's had a great career, which is still continuing. And, uh, no, he's a great character. <laughs> Graham has definitely been the best player I've ever, ever played with. Is that good enough? You haven't played with many players. It's a positive influence Graham Arnold has on the younger players in the squad that's caught the attention of the new coach. He is um, very experienced and he gives that experience to other young players. And uh, I'm not surprised when recently he was offered a job to be a, a player coach. That will come, it's not for him just yet, but uh, he's, he's got a lot to offer uh, as, a, as a bloke. Uh, he's, a, he's a good guy to have around. He's been threatening to put his boots in the garbage can for a few years now, but we keep dragging him back in. He's too, he's too funny for us to lose. He's too much of a character around the squad. Like legions of other Aussie kids, suburban soccer gave Graham Arnold his grounding in the game in Sydney's South. The difference was he stuck with the game through high school. Even everyone at school used to call soccer wog ball then, and everyone was uh, rugby league orientated. His pursuit of the unfashionable game took him to the Sydney Croatia Club, as Sydney United was then called. But he eventually had to toss up between two sports in which he excelled. Actually, I played a lot of cricket also. I played uh, a bit of first grade cricket with Sutherland, uh, Sutherland District. 
and uh, it was I had to make a decision between cricket and soccer. Graham Arnold was a promising wicketkeeper, but he decided his head, not his hands, would be the way to the future. When he first joined Sydney Croatia, he found he wasn't the only promising cricketer come soccer player there. Well, there's a short one and that's it. That's beautifully played. That's a very good innings from Stephen War. I reckon that's going to go down as one of his best. He's, um, yeah, he was a good midfielder. He, uh, technically, he was good. And I think he could have also gone, gone quite a long way in soccer as well. Steve War, like his twin brother Mark, played representative soccer at junior levels for New South Wales. Unlike Graham Arnold, they chose the other game. I'm glad that I stuck with what I did and they, I think they're pretty happy with what they've done as well. well it doesn't look too bad for Veen at the moment. The ball inside! Yeah. The goal! Graham Arnold! Soccer was to open the world to Graham Arnold. It took him first to Europe, joining the army of Australian players engaged by top overseas clubs. Many of them are on contracts that bracket them amongst our highest paid sportsmen. Deals that were unimaginable to our earlier World Cup warriors. He was a part-time country, part-time players, a very much a part-time setup, and suddenly thrown into the into the top uh, professional setup, and it was quite stunning. I mean, it's uh, and the be beautiful thing about sport is those memories; no one can take it from you. After eight years away, Graham Arnold now finds himself in Japan, separated from his wife and children, who find it easier to live in Sydney. Even while at home during the World Cup tie, Deborah still found herself a soccer widow. Graham confined to camp. How are you? Good. Hello, Lucy. Been good, girl. I've been away for four and a half months. You miss out the kids growing up, seeing them every day, and that's that's the hardest part about living over there. Hello. Good things. When you're looking at the calendar every day and marking the days off. Well, then it is a long time. What are the worst moments being apart like this? The same thing. Sometimes um, I go into the kids and they're crying in their bed and they miss their daddy and that thing's very hard. When you married this bloke, did you think that life was going to take you in this direction? Um, well, not the way it's ended up, that's for sure. He was just playing part-time at uh, Sydney, Croatia and working as a carpenter. And uh, I had no idea that what was, you know, to happen in the future. <laughs> but the gypsy life of the soccer mercenary might be coming to an end for Graham Arnold. His old club, Sydney United, beckons, hoping he'll rejoin them at the end of the year with long-term thoughts of coaching. Oh, yes, I can't wait. <laughs> yes, I've been dreaming of that day since we first left to Holland six and a half years ago. You know, if we can, us older guys can come back and put something back into to the sport that has been so good to us, well, then... Uh, it can only improve the code and the interest. But uppermost in the Socceroos striker's mind is the World Cup, finally qualifying for one of the biggest sporting events on earth. The hardest thing is, in, 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 in my head, I want to be part of this World Cup squad still. I would love nothing better than to get to France, be a part of it, even if it's just as I've said before, as a Roger Miller type uh, role. A long pump downfield. Shouldn't pose under only too many problems, although Miller might hustle him. Miller, Miller scores a goal for Cameroon! It's come from nowhere! Roger Miller was a mercurial and evergreen player from Cameroon, who was a star of the 1990 World Cup, helping to bring about improbable victories over some of the world's top teams.